All right, so I'm making this video because I've got some demos of some plugins that are about to expire. Once they expire, I want to remember how they functioned, what I liked about them, what I didn't like about them. Also, I thought I'd just post this video and see if any of you have a better idea of something I could use, um, or maybe you'll just find this interesting. Um, sorry about the bad mic quality. There's construction going on outside of my apartment, and uh, I've got a massive compressor and gate on the mic. But all the audio samples I'll be playing for you are uh, uncompressed, unfiltered, and so you can put them into your speakers, your headphones, and take a listen for yourself here. I'm using Logic Pro 10. I've also got Faber Acoustic Electroacoustics Toolbox running as my analyzer. And on the top window, we have magnitude, and the bottom window, we have phase. I have Logic set up here so that I have an output channel strip here with all my plugins that I'm demoing. Uh, those go into one side of the transfer function here. And then as uh, a reference I also have an output strip with um, some sample delays and so the idea is that when a plugin introduces some delay I want to know how many samples of delay it's introducing and so I've turned delay compensation off in logic so I can find that out and also once I get a good match it will give me an accurate phase reading here some points about mathematics here these are actually really good numbers for you to know if you do live sound they're really handy I, I use them all the time write them down memorize them at a sample rate of 48,000, which is what I'm running, sound travels one foot every roughly 42 and a half samples. We can actually find this out here. Let me pull up a calculator. And if I take 48,000 and I divide it by the number of feet that sound travels every second, which is roughly 100, 1,130, and that gives me 42.48 samples. Also, sound travels about 1.13 feet every millisecond. We can find this out by taking 1,130 and dividing it by 1,000 in milliseconds, 1.13 feet. Also, at a sample rate of 48,000, 48 samples equals one millisecond. That's pretty obvious. And it's interesting, if you take 42.48, and you multiply it by 1.13, you get 48. Now, I'm going to be using uh, these plugins for live sound, and so I usually consider about 10 feet of added delay by a, a piece of equipment to be the absolute maximum that I'm going to want to deal with. In fact, it's probably a little too much for on-stage applications monitoring, but uh, from front of house, it's it's okay, it's passable. Um, and I need to know how many samples that is going to be. And that'll be my maximum. So I can figure this out pretty quickly by taking 10 and multiplying it by 42.5. And that gives me 425. So that's my maximum number of samples. And I can also do this roundabout way by taking 10 and dividing it by 1. 0.13, and that gives me the number of milliseconds, which is a handy number to know as well. And then I take that and I times it by 48, and it also gives me roughly 425. Now, the thing is, I want the plugin to actually be a little bit less than 425 samples because I need to account for the total I/O time. So my input/output device might add in, uh, you know, 50 samples. So I need a plugin that's no more than about 375 samples. Um, I'll have to figure that out later, but for now, I'll just consider 425 to be my maximum. And I've demoed a lot of different plugins, and anything that was over this amount, I pretty much ignored. So the pool gets really small when uh, you are limited by 425, and you're trying to find a linear phase EQ, especially with a lot of definition in the low frequency, which is what I'm after. So uh, let's uh, start playing with some, some plugins. 